no one has been as valuable to me as Gone Beyond the Pink. I have uh, breast cancer. I was initially diagnosed in late 2016, and I went through the whole chemo for about, uh, I think like eight to 10 chemo uh, infusions, and I had a mastectomy um, my, on my left side this, that's completely gone. And then I started going through radiation at my chest, and that was supposed to be the end of my treatment. Uh, during radiation, I um, started getting some headaches and queasiness. So they didn't think it was anything, but to be safe, they sent me for an MRI and found out that the cancer had metastasized to my brain, which now put me at stage four terminal. When I first got diagnosed, um, which was in uh, right around Christmas 2016, within a couple of weeks, I had a care basket from the organization, um, you know, oils that they thought might help, anything they could think of to send over to, you know, be supportive and helpful to me. They've been great. I, I, I call her an angel on my shoulder. Um, they, uh, they have helped me with some medical bills. They have uh, had me throw out the first pitch at a UNCW uh, baseball game, which was a great experience. Um, they honored me at a local Christian school. Uh, they called me uh, basically every Christmas and sing Christmas carols or come to the house and sing Christmas carols. They just, they're so uplifting. It's always positive. And um, I, I couldn't thank her enough for what she's done for me and my family. She's given me a forum to make sure men are aware that they can get breast cancer. Because, you know, when I got diagnosed, I had no idea. I thought it was a woman's disease. And too many other men believe that still to this day. So, and I, I like speaking at, at functions about, you know, about my journey and telling people, uh, you know, that men need to get checked. If you have any reason to get checked, you have to do it. It's been a, it's been a tough journey, but, uh, you know, Having the support of Kara and going beyond the pink has been a huge help. Um, li li lifting my spirits, helping me with medical bills, uh, like and like I said, honoring me at a like a, a local baseball game, and um, you know uh, they had like a, a night to honor me at a um, at a volleyball game at a local Christian school, and it's just. She made, she made me feel like a celebrity, which I'm certainly not. I'm just a regular guy who works 40 hours a week and tries to provide for my wife and kids. But she makes me feel like I'm a, a celebrity around here and it really does lift my spirits a lot. Tom is an incredible man and he has such a powerful voice because people think that men don't get breast cancer. It's an old woman's disease, but more and more we're seeing young women and more men diagnosed with it. And Tom really hits home when he, he talks about kind of the stigma around male breast cancer. Um, and he's also, he has metastatic breast cancer. So that's the incurable version. And yet he is an absolute icon when it comes to showing people how you live your very best life. And I mean that with or without the disease, because he just has this incredible spunk and personality when he knows that he's supported. And so I hope that being a celebrity in some small way in our community has lifted him up and given him more hope and, and just allows him to thrive a little bit more. When I first got the brain diagnosis, the uh, doctor told me I had um, six, maybe 12 months to live. Uh, and uh, that was over three years ago. And like I said, I'm still going strong, still working 40 hours a week. I have my difficult moments. I have my little personal pity parties, but you know, I, I, got to fight through that stuff again for my wife and kids so but Kara has helped me do that um with by again like making me feel special making me feel like I'm you know a, a celebrity almost sometimes so she she has helped me fight through this stuff as well